I've always been in a situation where I have roommates or I'm living with family, something like that. So it's always been kind of hard to make my videos a certain way or then I could feel like somebody's listening to me. So y'all got the raw Davina. <laughs> so today is tuesday the 19th and i'm just over here having some breakfast okay so i just start, decided to start a room diaries i have one vlog that's gonna be posted before this before i reveal in this but i'm just deciding to document a little bit about me living in rome maybe a little bit about my experience etc you guys know i live in new jersey and new jersey is pretty hard to get an apartment but it's so crazy because I recently went to go apply for a luxury apartment because that's my dream, okay? I'm like, before I get married, I want to have an, a luxury apartment by myself. That would be a dream for me. And um, I thought it was going to be so hard to get in. Were, like, it was crazy how the process was a lot easier than it is to apply for these regular apartments or apartments that's in bad neighborhoods in new jersey where they want your credit score to be at least at 650. credit was not a factor at that complex and it was so beautiful um you just have to you have to pass your background check and you have to um make a certain amount of money well you have to make um you know you have to have proof of the income that you, that you claim that you have and it has to be you know of a certain criteria three times the rent all right and the person was so nice friendly but out here at these regular apartments they want you to have at least 650 credit scores some linear people want you to have 600 you have to have decent credit at least okay it's pretty hard out here so i've been staying in the room i decided to stay in a room for a season you know because i don't have to go through all of, you know the credit and all of that just as i'm building up my income it's because i'm in a season of starting over i didn't even plan to say this but i'm not going to show you guys should i show you guys my room excuse the mess okay this is my room i have jackets and purses this is where it, anything that can't fit I have it in these bins. I have some little snacks. I forgot to put that up. I need to straighten up a little bit. So sorry. And then I'm on my bed. It's a small room. But I'm just so grateful that I have somewhere to stay that I um I'm not homeless. You know, God has been providing for me even when things, you know, I, a check was held up. I had to wait. God was still providing. For okay, the phone cut off somehow, but yeah, I'm just so grateful. And I decided to take this route in my living situation because, like I mentioned before, it's pretty tough to get an apartment in New Jersey. And God hasn't released me from the New Jersey. It's still where I should be. So I'm in New Jersey, right? I'm deciding to rent out a room until I get the apartment that I desire because it's just easier this way. I don't have to worry about credit checks. And so, um, I, it was something else I was going to mention, but oh yeah, until so I built my income up too, because um, I'm starting over as well. I'm starting over in my career. Um, I am still in the same career. I'm still a licensed cosmetologist, but I'm basically starting over. You guys may have not known, but I lost so many of my clients after a certain situation happened. A breakup, um, a disconnect from a family member. Um, so many people had so many family members that were clients stopped coming to me and then other clients start coming once I moved to this salon that I have been in for a year it's in a it's in a totally different location than um, I, I was in before and I guess maybe because I moved twice before that I moved well yeah I ended up moving one other place before that and it may have been too much for my clients and then it's just I had it's I'm starting over in life starting over and with love um I'm working on myself though starting over in my career starting over in my living situation starting over um with a vehicle because you know I had a car I, I had my own place and I was living on my own as a woman I had a salon was doing pretty good in my um career you know it's still 
it wasn't all the way where I wanted it to be, but it was getting there. I just needed the employees. And then certain things happened that I'm probably not going to go into full disclosure, at least not right now. And of course, certain decisions that I made as well, it caused me to me to be put back, put backwards. So I'm basically starting over. So this is the route that I'm deciding to take until my income builds up. My income has started to improve. Um, you guys know I'm working a nine to five job now, but now I see that God's trying to put me back to do more work in my career and not rely on that so much. It'll help a little, you know, it's a stepping stone job. It's a stepping stone, but I'm grateful for it. And God's going to work on my career. Other things of income, I'm even, yeah, God's working on my income. I see it right now, I see it happening. So as my income gets more and more where I want to be, then I'm going to reapply for the apartment that I want. I, I, I'll be honest and say I have been going back and forth to see if I should just, I hate to say settle, but go with a regular apartment that's, you know, more affordable and just do that for a year and then get my luxury apartment. But I'm like, man, maybe I should just do this and stay here for a few more months. And maybe by summertime, my income will be where I need it to be and then I could reapply. So I'm not sure. I might just go ahead and apply for the regular apartment and then maybe six months to a year I can reapply to the apartment of my dreams that I really want. I'm I'm hearing even as I talk to God say I hear why not so I guess I will take that route next month. So yeah that is the plan. Okay yeah right now I'm having breakfast I'm just having this um, plant-based spinach for Tata. Um, it's an egg bite and spinach um, patty. It's just eight bites and spinach. And I have a plant-based patty. I might have to run this up again, I'm not sure. And it has cheese on it. I did tell you guys in the last vlog, or one of the last vlogs, that I am now vegetarian as opposed to vegan. And I just have some grapes, a few grapes, and some fake noodles. I got these fake noodles from Walgreens, actually. Excuse me, showing, and they are pretty good. They're actually better than the original fake Newtons, and I like that it's a little bit healthier than regular cookies. So, yeah, I'm trying to eat healthier. I was just thinking the other day how I had started to, you know, <laughs> start to eat a little unhealthy as far as snacks. In this period, but snacks, I'm like, I'm, I've been eating a lot of junk food. I need, you know, when I want a snack, let me give me some healthier options so that when I do feel like snacking, it's not so unhealthy and not snack as much because I love to snack. I don't want to become a glutton, okay? Um, it's not to that point, but I don't want it to become that. So I'm like, yeah. So yeah, you guys, um, let me finish eating my breakfast. Sometimes I eat in the kitchen, but I'm just in the room right now. Oh. So I'm going to finish eating this breakfast and um, I'll, I don't know why I'm going to pick back up this camera. All right, and I'll see you soon. <laughs> Taking a little lunch break or whatever. I normally just watch YouTube videos. I got finished watching Love is Blind. That was so crazy. Um, oh my God, I'm trying to find something else. I just decided on this, A Taste of Sin. It's about two pastors. So I'm like, let me see what this is about. And it looks like it's a, um, Nigerian movie. I love Nigerian movies. Uh, me, my mom, and my sisters, we, we used to watch them together. We love them. So I normally, I normally really like them. So I'm just going to check it out and let you guys know how I like it.
I said, girl, you have no idea. <laughs> So good morning you guys please excuse my parents i just got up not too long ago um didn't do much to myself as you can see but i'm just enjoying some breakfast i decided to have an acai bowl so i made a homemade acai bowl and it's way more affordable than going to playa bowls or any of those other places that sell the um acai bowls actually i made a what is it a fruit what they call it um, I made a dragon fruit bowl. So um, it was dragon fruit instead of acai. I do have the acai base as well. But this one was really good. This, this was actually my first time having the dragon fruit. I didn't like pataya as much. It was too, it takes too much like banana. But this one is so good. I like it just as much as I, as I like acai. So yeah, it was really good. I just did a little short. So make sure you check it out. I'll probably just add it in this video as well. And um, I'm going to take out these braids. I'm, I was just watching Think Media, Think Media podcast, and Anthony O'Neill was just sharing his story of how he overcame different hurdles and how he got to his success. And now I'm about to just take out these braids. It's over with. Okay, I'm going to take out these braids today, actually in a few minutes. And then today I'm going to wash and deep condition my hair blow dry it as well and then tomorrow which is friday i mean yeah today is thursday thursday i don't know why i keep on recording on thursdays but yeah today is thursday the 21st so yeah tomorrow friday i'm gonna braid it i just don't want to do everything in one day but that's what my plan for today is yo you've been loved and cared mm -hmm. for and supported even though the resources may not have been there or the access or opportunities and, and I was wondering when I was listening to you, like, is there a memory or an experience from your childhood that you think defines who you are today? Like, was there a, a memory or a story that you have in your mind of an experience you went through that you think brings out maybe that service element or brings out that purposeful element? I, mean, I think this, this bliss and this, this, this appreciation for how I grew up comes in hindsight. Mm -hmm. You know, like, you know, the first time you have a moment where you're like... All finding great. They don't know what these kids went through. Jason Candy, he looked like a goofy white boy from Nebraska. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. So I am just now getting myself together. Well, I need to wash my face, as you guys can see. I'm just starting off my day. It's a day off. But today I'm going to be finishing off my hair. Yesterday I washed, deep condition and blown and blow dried my hair. And now today I am going to be braiding it. I'm going to be rebraiding it the same way I had it. And then, you know, once I'm ready to take out the braids again, I'll let my hair rest for a few weeks and then excuse the noise and then i'm going to do some braids again but i'm going to do like the medium size i'm just doing the large so yeah that is my day man yesterday was crazy it was interesting i had some good moments and then it was some chaos too i made a new recipe it was so good that's going to be in rotation but i'm actually i woke up to a big i woke up from a vision this morning looking at my face yeah um early this morning around 5 a.m i woke up from a vision and i shared this on the page and i shared it on a person's um social media platform as well but just know that we have to be careful we can't think that we're uh, we are exempt from things or you know, we don't need to be arrogant in any kind of way. Um, so I had a dream of basically about a fatal car accident. Well, that a car accident that could end up being fatal or could have ended up being fatal. You know, the person was driving and I had the vision seeing the person. I was there. 
And I was telling the person, you know, the, the driver to be careful, like, well, to watch out or pay attention, to pay attention. And they weren't really listening. They just kept on, like, looking back. They were talking to someone in the back seat, it seems like. And they may have been on phone as well. But they weren't, they didn't have their focus where it needed to be. They didn't have their focus um, on the road. And this could be a two-part message as well but i do know that it was a vision and not a dream it wasn't like a full-on dream it was a vision and i kept on telling them you know pay attention pay attention and they did it and then by the time they looked you know they they looked at the road it was like too late like and i knew the only thing to do was to pray i did have to nudge me because one thing about me is I love my sleep, but I'm trying to be more obedient to God when he wakes me up. I do try my best to pray when I have a vision like that, of course, or if I, even if it's a full-on dream, I make sure I pray. But, you know, sometimes you have those moments where you want to get your rest, you want to get your sleep, but I'm asking God to help me to get out of that point, you know, when he shows me something for me to just have that desire to just automatically get up. So God nudged me at first. I was just praying in the bed and then I felt nudged to stand up and pray. So I stood up and interceded. And then after I finished praying, praying, after I finished interceding, um, God told me to share it, to tell everyone, well, to tell his people about it. So I shared it to my main platforms. I've always been in a situation where I have roommates or I'm living with family, something like that. So it's always been kind of hard to make my videos a certain way or then I could feel like somebody's listening to me and it make, it'll make me feel a little awkward and weird. So it'll come off on camera too. So yeah, bear with me. and I try I don't really like to use sometimes I do use washcloths on my face but yeah, I try to use whatever is cleanest so I won't get breakouts okay. that's clean to good skin I'm trying to get better with my skincare routine like I need to find something I want to try this retinol um, eye serum from for underneath my eyes or I might go back to my rock retinol that did work a few years ago. I was sent that product and I really did like it. I repurchased it one time, but I did. I never got it again. So I'm thinking about getting it again. I'm using the same moisturizer. This actually helps a little bit too. I noticed in the vlog when I rewatched it, the last one that I posted that once i put this moisturizer on my face looked so much better i looked so crusty in that i was so embarrassed but hey it's like i was not getting any rest that week and then i had nothing on my face i needed to wax the eyebrows and things as well and then i had no like right now i don't have anything on my lips my lips are so chapped and dry no moisturizer so yeah i got the raw davina and not just the raw Davina, but like this is the raw Davina right here. But y'all got Davina needs some rest <laughs> and rejuvenation to raw Davina. So, let's see if I can roll this okay. Yeah, so today I'm just gonna be taking it easy. I'm going to be cooking some tacos tonight for dinner. Yeah, I'm just checking some things out on TV. I'm just really resting up while I can so that, you know, I'm not tired when I do work. And working on content, I need to post um, hair-related content as well. I do have some that I need to get together and post. So, yeah, I'll see you guys um, some other time today, right? So, 
today is friday the 23rd i think it's the 23rd and um i'm going to be making tacos for dinner um, i just got finished going live um and yeah i'm gonna have to go live again i guess but um, just got finished going live it was so bright it wasn't a success i'm about to make me some tacos for dinner i think i'm going to have a side of caesar yeah i think i'm going to have a side of caesar salad and yeah let me show you guys what i'm watching the content is so good it's always so informative it's just fire i really like her i like that she's young i like that she's motivated and that she's living for god so let me know in the comments <laughs> Okay, yeah, uh, I'm watching this movie that was suggested by someone that I watched on YouTube. Um, her name is Nicole Henson. I am because of you. Um, it's called The Bleeding Minister. So far, it's this. It's about this minister, female minister that's going through and her going through a lot in her marriage. Like her husband seems like he resents her or he doesn't want to be bothered with her. He's cheating on her. So I'm giving it a try. She said it was really good, so I'm giving it a try. Um, you probably can hear it in the background. I also am trying out this um, Hagen Dazs ice cream. It's the white chocolate raspberry truffle ice cream. And um, this was on sale when I went food shopping recently. I think it was either three fifty or three ninety nine. Between two ninety nine and three ninety nine. It sounded like it would taste really good. It's actually my first time trying Haggadahs all together. I really like it though. I, I like it. I thought I would get a little bit more of the white chocolate. You do taste a little, but I thought you would taste it more. But the chocolate pieces are really good. The little raspberry in it is really good. And the ice cream itself is like really, really smooth. So I would definitely try this again. And try the other flavors from, from the brand because it's really, really smooth. So I like it. the church gave me okay so i told you guys that i went to church today it's actually palm sunday palm sunday look at the church gave me okay so this is my little area they had different boxes of popcorn chicken they made an announcement that they had popcorn chicken i'm like oh too bad i can't have it and then i think he said it's vegan popcorn chicken so i was like oh i can't have it this is what it looks like I never heard of this brand never had it VFC vegan chicken style flavored popcorn pieces and a southern fried cornflake coating. It's 100% vegan and non GMO. So hopefully, I like it. So that was actually good because now I do not have to worry about, you know, buying extra stuff at a supermarket. Okay. We have five packs of these. So this, this will last me a long while because I don't eat mock meat every day. And I can have this with some meal. I can eat this with salad. That's what I'll eat the rest of my salad with. I'm just eating the rest of my tacos for lunch and then I'll make another dinner since it's Sunday. And then I can eat, put this on top of a salad. I can eat this with fries. I can eat this with so many different meals for like lunch. So yeah, blessings on blessings. Another blessings and another vlog.